Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. In this video, we are going to talk about expdp utility with the parameter query. So, why it is needed or what is the benefit? Suppose there is a schema called ot and under that there is a table order items. So, you need a particular filtered data to import in a in an application schema for some some kind of uh, uh, operations right so you don't need below 100 you just need the quantity should be more than 100 so let us see what is uh, what is there in the quantity table right sorry quantity column so now let us see what is there inside this table so here we can see that 665 rows are selected what uh, what what if we need uh, like only those rows where the quantity is more than 100 so we want to capture that dump where or we want to capture that those rows in a dump file where the quantity is more than 100 so let us take uh, start our backup xpdp par file equals to so i mean apart from this everything is similar dump file we are specifying the dump file name log file and the directory where it will be stored that backup and log file but we can split the directories I'll show you in upcoming videos and the tables so schema name and the table name and the last query so query how is how is the syntax query equals to schema name dot the table name colon in the double quotation that is the clause right the condition so let us take our backup So now we'll be giving our username and the password. So you can see it is taking, it is going forward. So we'll keep waiting till the backup end. Meanwhile, let's take a duplicate session and check uh, what are the processes related to this uh, expdp right so let us just check on that one naturally this should not take that much time it is taking that much time uh, okay no problem see here whenever any export backup will be running so it will definitely have a worker process so that work it is not yet started you can see so once it is it will take I mean move forward you will definitely see that here one worker process will be initiated with the database name I'll show you so here you can see starting this this is the uh, master table it is creating okay so we'll, we'll talk about this uh, architecture later in upcoming videos we'll understand how this data pump works and what are the parameters we need to take care so now we'll just check whether that worker process is started or not here it is so whenever any export backup will be started or any export job will be started so it will definitely call a worker process who will call that master control process how it it looks here it is it will start with dm00 prod this is the master control process and on behalf of this this is a worker process so we'll definitely look into this 
architecture later so stay tuned on this channel i don't know why it is taking that much time it is a short table export so now it is moving forward let's uh, wait for some time and it will be finished so now our uh, backup is completed it is just a uh, click away and we could see only 267 rows were exported out of 665 rows where that means it has taken those rows who which are having quantity more than 100 right so now finally our backup is completed and we check we have checked that it is it took 19 minutes i don't know why maybe uh, due to some slowness of the machine so anyway uh, so it has taken only 267 rows let us check select count so here um yeah so we can see that 267 rows are selected which are having 100 uh, more than 100 in quantity so this is how we can uh, filter out our uh dump file with uh, minimum required data in it right so we don't need to take a full table backup or something we can just uh we can just put our condition over here and we can uh we can take the backup of the required rows right so hope you have learned something make sure that you visit other videos as well so see in the next video